my fellow American subscriber patriots. Wow, that's a mouthful. That's a mouthful of BS, isn't it? Wow. Good morning. I can see you clearly. I can see you clearly. That is amazing. Glad you stopped in. Boy, what a beautiful day in sunny, sunny paradise, Florida. Wow, it's just beautiful today. Yeah. I want to go down the road here. We got a little few projects, quickies. We got some quickie action going on. Let me put on my sunglasses. It's getting bright. I'm supposed to be wearing these. I can't wait to get my prescription regular glasses, but that's not going to be for six weeks. I go in Thursday, and the surgeon's going to take a look at my eyeballs and tell me when I can go ahead and. Uh, and get those glasses. What they'll be is just a bifocal on the bottom for close-up. See, right now I'm running, I'm running the reader program, and these work great. But I don't want to keep flip-flopping glasses. I don't want to go from sunglasses to readers to you know what I had before was transition. And on a couple, couple about 250 bucks worth, but it's worth it. To keep flip flopping glasses. And uh, yeah, uh, so I'll have just clear lenses at the top and then bifocals and transition. Yeah, so let's go over. I saw, I came up coming back from the gym, I, the, the Brazilian pepper is popping, it's starting to pop, but I seen one down here. It looked like it was pretty good, blown open. So I want to show you that. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Brazilian pepper before. Uh, but I'll, let's go down the road and I'll show you that. Then i got to run to my out yard. There's two nukes over there. Uh, I was in there. I got in about three days before the 30-day period, like I normally do. But I said, ah, heck, I'll give it a shot. So I went in there. Water queen, she was back. She was laying like crazy looked really good and then the other one I didn't see her at all but I seen her I seen where she'd been there was some spotty eggs in there and no it wasn't a worker layer no it was not one of those you see a bunch of eggs in a cell they get frustrated and they'll tell one of the uh, workers to start laying eggs for whatever stupid reason so you get a yeah you get a drone layer or a working laying queen which turns out to be nothingness but this wasn't it was a queen that just came back and and like i said i got in there four days early i have gone full 30 days and gone back in and i can tell when i go in if there's a queen in that box because they're just chilling you know they're not nervous they're not running on the frames they're just chilling they're walking around okay you'll you'll see it you guys just get in beekeeping. These little things, subtle things you pick up on, you'll get it. And uh, I said, well, the bees are chilling. There is a queen in there. So I put on my readers. I got my little pin light, and I'm starting to look around in there. Sure enough, there was eggs starting. She just started laying. But the other one laying good. So what I'm going to do, I mean, here it is. What is it? 9.30? Let me see here. Yeah, 925. It's 925. So anyway, I will. A uh, couple things I got to do yet. I got to go back in and put some eye drops in. Miss Daisy just told me about that. But anyway, what I'm going to do? I lost my train of thought. We're taking the one, the one box that's laying good, loading it up, shrink wrapping, and bringing it back to base camp setting it on the rail out back and i'm gonna start pumping the feed i got i got several here and uh so we're not making up any more colonies walk away splits or anything the rest of the year uh, we're not going to do anything till february then we're going to bust these freaking hives 60 16 ways from sunday and start making up a bunch of hives because 25 and 25 we're going to be yeah we're going to be we're going to be making a bunch of hives 25 because I've got like five locations on the waterfront plus one nice one right over here to my east in a big hardwoods in a, in a, in a saw palmetto jungle. So I want to make some of that honey. But anyway, we will just 
pump these girls up and get them as fat as we can. And I'm hopefully, oh, I went down on the waterfront the other day and um, that was what, today is, uh, what is today? What is today? Today is Tuesday. That was yesterday. Hello, Steve-O, that was yesterday. No, it wasn't. It was, I went in on Sunday. I went in on Sunday, that's what I did. And there's two down there at my furthest south yard on the waterfront. And I added another A-frame box, so they're three deep now. Those two girls are running about neck and neck, side by side, equal. Equal strength, equal producers. Actually, either one of those colonies could be a breeder. Uh, so I put another box on. I did move one up from the bottom and put in the top box. And I added beetle grease to the top box. They're eating the heck out of this beetle grease, guys. And I suggest you go ahead and make Steve-O. Not, it's not mine. Ken Davis. And he got it from somebody else. Beetle grease. But from what I'm seeing so far, it's working great. So you have my permission now to start smearing on beetle grease. But just put it on the end bars. Don't put it in the middle. Put it on the end. And you only need about maybe a six inch, six inch little podged in spot on each side of the hive. That's it. Sometimes they eat it quick. Sometimes they don't eat it so quick. But just leave it in there. Yes, it is working, guys. It is working. We will do alcohol washes later on uh, to verify. But right now I see no, 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 no beetles. None. None. So that is wonderful. That is wonderful. So anyway, I got to go do my eye drops. And then we're going to shoot over. I'll show you first this uh, Brazilian pepper tree. So you can see what that looks like. Okay, guys. Let me have you check out a Brazilian pepper that's starting to kick in high gear here. She's just starting to kick in high gear. Yes, sir. Look at that. Now, I do see a honeybee on it. But I also see something bad on it. Love bugs. Love bugs. Yeah, they come... They come in here. They're a real treat. They come in here at the same time. I want to make some uh, pepper honey. But you can see, I mean, this is, here's, here's, here's a real pain in the ass. See that? They're making love, baby. They're making love. But what they do, here's another one, making love. There's a honeybee. All right. One of my special sweet baby girls, right, Dale? Yeah. Here's a couple of trees. I mean, this, these are, you can see how tall Brazilian pepper gets. It gets up there. It's invasive. It's invasive. State of Florida hates it. We beekeepers love it. We love it, baby. Look at it. Yep, that's your Brazilian pepper, guys. So if you come to Florida, and you want to hit a crop in, the, in, a, in September 15th is when this starts to happen. Or a little before, a little after, you know. Yeah. Bees are starting to find this thing. They will make you, you can make easily, if you're in a good, good heavy batch of this stuff, you can make right at 100 pounds per hive with it. Yeah. Sell it for 10 bucks a pound or, or more, whatever. They consider it a bakery grade just like metaluca or punk honey paper tree honey whatever you want to call it down down south but I, I, that's down that's getting further down naples and they stayed as an all-out war against that stuff uh they have teams taxpayer taxpayer paid teams that go out and, and, and try to eradicate it they're trying to do this they're trying to do it with this tree too but you know it's like yeah yeah, go ahead and make my day. It's like trying to wipe out fire ants in Florida. It ain't going to happen. All right, let me get over here to my e furthest east bee yard and pick up that nuke. 
Okay, guys, here I've got these two little colonies here. This one here, she's a nice fat one. This one here, see I had a 917 check on it. This one's coming along. There's not, we don't have any beast bearding here or anything. So we do have them flying, so we're gonna do that. Oh, hello, hello, yeah. I was in here the other day too. I had bull ants crawling all over the place. So what I did, I changed out the, I changed out these, these ant moats and I put on different flashing. I used to staple the flashing to the top of that two by two that's in that cat food can, but I'm not doing that anymore. I just slide the, you can change these out too by just picking the rail up and slide one can out, grabbing another can, putting it in if you've got to swap them and clean them. Because what will happen, and uh, they will fill up with dead bull ants, and then they just keep falling in the moat, and that's automatic transmission fluid in there, okay? See, we've already got bees coming here, coming back. So what we're going to do here is this real quick like, we're going to do this real quick like, boom, done. That's going to go back to base camp. These girls here said, let me in, Steve-O, you... You crazy fool. Okay, there you go. See all these girls coming back from the field here? You see that? They're all confused. They're gonna come right over here, guys, and get in that box so we won't lose a bee. All right, all I gotta do is shrink wrap this one down and haul back to base camp. Okay, guys, very, very quick and easy. What I do is take a staple, put right there. You get the small rolls like this here. You're going to get shrink wrap, guys. Get these small rolls like this. Here's another one here. I keep plenty on hand. And then I take a T50 stapler. Very simple. Very simple. I put one staple here. I wrap around about twice, then I come over here, I've got this plug sitting here, right? I come over, cross over, I go around again, hit this corner, come over, and then I go around one more time and, and break it off, that's it. And these will, these fives will flip over in your truck, and you're probably gonna kill the queen that you, you know, you know, you put uh, all this effort into making a queen, and then she falls over, and you're probably gonna, gonna kill the queen in the box, so tie it off the side of your truck so this is going to go in here i have a rope here come around and lash it to the side of the truck we're not going to kill anybody okay so that's it i'm going to get this jar here bring it back to base camp with me quite a few bees out as you can see got to go to work so no more bull ants I fixed my ant most. These things were completely filled up, guys, with uh, completely filled up with. I didn't, I didn't move this over far enough. You see this flashing here? See that little bit of daylight? That's not good. Pick this up and move that flashing over. Now it's completely covered. Now you've got a rain hat. Now these flashings will have an automatic little. Uh, roll to them because they're coming off the roll that's good you put the roll so it's going downward these flashings are going downward okay now no rain's getting in these girls are coming back in a lot of pollen they're going to figure it out they're going to come right over here and uh, get in this box here yes they're come they're going to come right in this box right here all right let's get back to base camp
most of my eight frame tops, backer board tops, which I love. I put this textured side down to the bees, and I don't paint this side either. Uh, but I do paint the edges of these, and I paint paint the tops. Usually, just one coat's enough. To put it on thick. So we got a flow coming on, and I pulled. I put, there's interior feeders in these. So, but I want to build them up. I'll get the interior feeders out, drop a frame back in there, and top feed with a quart, quart jar. That's what the plan is. Okay, guys, use a masonry uh, bit for this, for doing these. I just put it on top of a box, and I've got them double thickness here. So we should be able to go through one and then mark the other one. Actually, go through two. Go through two and save. Save these plugs. You can take this out, the screw out, get this little kit from Harbor Freight. You can get this whole kit from Harbor Freight. It's pretty cheap. I think I only had 30 bucks in or something like that. And I've I've only used this one bit. I haven't used any of these others. This comes out, see. This is kind of a funky deal they've got here on this. This keeps loosening up. But you just keep working with it. Sometimes this whole tumbler will come out of here. But it's stuck in here now with just dust. And so I just leave it stuck. I leave my wrench in the box. Save these plugs because what you're going to do just set this up here out of the way just because it won't go in the box you can't close the box up with this on there and i just leave that stuck to it that drum bit just leave it stuck on there yeah and this stuff this nasty dust coming out of the silica dust it's nasty guys don't be breathing this if you do a lot a lot of them. I just take a band down, I wet it, and come around my face. But I was out here outside in the breeze to where, and then what you want to do is just cut you a little piece of uh, light pallet material, just a little square, and take Bond Tight 3 and stick these on. And then you've got plugs. I'll save those for later. I just needed right now these two lids because I got some beehives I want to transfer over. But see this dust here? It's bad. Don't 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 be breathing this crap, okay? But if you go through two of them there, works out pretty good. Yeah, two at a time works out great. And you can get a little crumble here on this edge, but no big deal. You just kind of pull it off of there. That's it. Yeah, I really like those uh, these backer lids. I think that's my go-to forever forever and ever I gotta get busy this winter guys and build a bunch of these eight frame bot beefies eight frame beefy boxes that's the way to go right there that's the way I'm going I don't know what you guys are doing I mean it's unconditional love you know it's unconditional love you know what unconditional love is guys you don't wanna you know how to how to check check unconditional love just take your dog and your wife right throw them in the trunk throw them in the trunk of your car come back in 15 minutes open the trunk up and, and see what see which one loves you the most that's how you tell 
Let's go into this bad boy right here, guys. See what we got. Very light. Very light. I don't know, this might be a total, total flipping failure. Got a bunch of syrup in this feeder though. Wow, that's heavy. Let's do this. And there's some beetles running around in here too. So it's gonna get some more beetle grease. What's happening here, boys and girls? Yeah, this queen, this queen here, I don't know about her. I don't know about this little beauty queen here now. She is laying up in here though. There she is, right there. I don't know about this girl, guys. I don't know about this girl here. She don't show some improvement real soon. She's going to be history. She's going to get a she's going to get a head pinch. She's definitely going to get a head pinch if she don't straighten her act out. Cuz he's been I've been feeding these bees. There's no reason in the world why they shouldn't be kicking in high gear, so. I don't see that the beetle, there was a few beetles, they were hiding on the inside of that feeder though. That's another problem. Got these feeders with all these freaking holes and stuff, no good. No good guys, no good. All right, there's eight frames in that hole. Eight frames in that hole. If I don't see some improvement on this girl, she's gonna get the squeeze job. Yeah, she's gonna get a squeeze. Let's go into this nuke here that I just pulled from that other yard over here and see what we got. Now this is a brand new queen, guys, so. Brand new queen off the assembly line, but she's just started laying. Let's go in here and see what we think of her. Okay, guys, this this colony here, I had to check uh, 9, uh, 17. Nine seventeen. What is it today? It's 9, 17. How about that?
Yeah. I see we have elbow room here. Okay. I'm not going to go into this colony. This has got a lot of bees in it. And the way they're chilling out, guys, the way these bees are chilling out, this thing's queen right. I'm telling you right now. She is queen right. I'm coming back in here. I got stuff to do right now, but I am coming back and uh, add feeders. Yeah, I'm going to add feeders to this one and all of them. All, all these four. These four are going to get fed. I'm going to probably leave these in the yard and just pump the heck out of these things. Get them into eights. Got quite a few eights. Build these things all up. I'm going to keep hammering them with food. Get them all into eights. And then maybe even uh, start with another box on top. I don't know yet. I'll just see how fast they're improving on this flow. Because the flow is happening now. Brazilian pepper. I just showed you that. So anyway. Alright, that's it for today, guys. A little quickie vid. And... Hope all is well in your world. Hang in there. Be strong. We got to keep getting it on. And I have got to get this thing moved out of here soon. I'm going to have to re shrink it because there's too much gap here. And granted, there's a flow going on. They're probably not too robby right now, but I don't want to lose these girls. They're just, uh, I need every bee I got right now. And any queen. With the exception of that box down there, I'm going to go back in this box here in another week. And if this thing ain't doing good, guys, if this thing's not doing good, that girl down there or that, that girl down there or this girl right here, I know her jam up. This girl here is getting her head pinched. And I'm going to shake every bee in this box on the ground. Every bee is going on the ground. And I'm going to take those resources, put them back in here. Uh, what I'm going to do is take, shake them all on the ground and put all the frames over here, say. Then I'm going to take this fresh nuke and I'm going to move it, this hive, down on line with this one. Be because by then they're going to be established coming in and out of here. They're a little confused. I just dropped them here, right? They're a little confused. So, I will switch in. So this entrance is looking that way. This entrance is looking this way. This girl is beautiful, I'm telling you. So what I'll do is shake all the bees on the ground. I'm going to take this hive, turn it around, and have it the same direction as this one. I'm going to transfer all of this resources into the center of this hive right here. And then take the other frames and fill out the box. I may even throw another super on top of that to protect this stuff. What I'm discovering with that... Uh, uh, Zen, Zen X or whatever that stuff you mix up what I'm seeing is not working uh, now the wax moths are coming back into the stuff I got another flipping friggin mess in the, in the barn here hey I'm doing something wrong I'm not mixing it right or what I put a teaspoon per, ga per half gallon put a teaspoon per half gallon and wax moths are coming back into this stuff tearing it all to hell oh well it's all part of beekeeping we got to just keep moving on and figuring stuff out and keep getting it done till we figure it out that's all there is to it all right guys i'll see you soon be happy be strong we got to keep getting her on and keep making bees thank you please see y'all